Hey child, welcome back to my channel. It is time to do our nails, honey. So listen, we are in the middle of a global Panasonic and it is causing for us to what? Stay home. And one thing that a lot of people are going to are press on nails because they like, honey, I'm not going to anybody's nail shop because I don't want to die. And I totally understand. I have been wearing press on nails on and off for the last three to four years. I used to, sh listen religiously i would be in somebody's nail shop every 10 to 14 days getting a fresh set or a fill-in on my acrylics but about 10 years ago i developed a severe allergy to monomer i have contact dermatitis when i get it it's real bad so i cannot get those nails anymore and so something that i've been doing to make mother feel like a diva make me feel real good on the inside take some time for myself is to apply my own press on nails and i have been getting hit up by the city gang like girl show us how to do it because when we do it, our nails be popping off and so if you want to see how to get your press on nails on really good and secure to get them to last a few weeks maybe two weeks at most honey keep on watching roll that beautiful big footage baby girl Ew. hey child So let's get into this first set. I got notes written down step by step so I wouldn't forget it to help you live your best life while you do your nails at home and stay safe in this global Patricia. So number one, the very first step that you have to do, listen to me very carefully, buy quality nails. Listen, there is very, very few store-bought nails that I would recommend to you. Why? Because they aren't thick enough. In order to get the press-ons to last, where they're not bending as soon as you bump into something and they're not cracking in half and things like that, you have to get thick quality nails. The thicker, the better, because that's what makes them sturdy. So I get mine from some websites that I've, you know, spent a little money with, found the ones that work for me. I'll leave the link, because it's Black History Month, honey. I'll leave the link to some black woman-owned businesses that make really quality press-on nails from my experience, and you can shop them below if you need some recommendations. Etsy has some amazing ones, but look at the reviews, because people will tell you, I, I need to thin, or they'll say this was nice, but look for websites that have really good ratings because you want to get thick quality nails but if you have to buy something store-bought the only store-bought brand press on nails that i will recommend is kiss they are the ones that i wore for a couple of years but i don't really wear the store-bought anymore because honey mother got addicted to the options available online but if i have to go in store i'm only buying kiss i'm not buying anything else so start there number one get quality nails because the quality matters so in this video because i want to take you through the whole process i'm going to show you how i take off my press on nails without destroying my nail bed because that's important and then i'm going to get you into how to apply them so let's get down into this video this is the current set of nails that i have on i got them from a small retailer called d gem and nails she makes a lot of nails for me i wanted something you know a little bit of abstract a little bit of on trend and i really like these and so because i am not saving them i'm going to take them off in a way that destroys but if you want to save your nails, here is the first method that I would say to take them off safely. Get you a glass bowl, fill it up with warm water, some dish soap, and a little bit of oil, and soak your nails from anywhere between 15 to 30 minutes. As they're soaking, the soap and the water will loosen up the nail and you'll be able to gently pry it off. If you feel any form of resistance, stop, because you're gonna tear up your nails. I've done it before, jack my hands. Up, so don't do that so just make sure if you want to reapply these nails you're soaking them in warm water and soap and they will eventually loosen up to the point where you can gently pry it off without any damage but if you like me you like honey the people that already seen it, i've already served it i don't need this anymore then let's go ahead and destroy it so the first thing that i'm going to do is go ahead and clip it down to enough so i don't have to soak it as long if you have long nails underneath your press-ons you definitely want to flip your hands over make sure you ain't cutting your good old nail out but because i like mine to be nubs honey i didn't have anything to worry about so i go ahead and clip it on both sides on one side i clip it and then i hold it with my finger because honey if you get to clipping all while they're gonna fly across the room now they shot myself in the eye before honey so i clip on one side put a finger or some pressure behind it and then I clip on the other side to keep the nail from flying and ricocheting everywhere. And I do that to all the nails because, of course. And then after I go ahead and clip them down, I soak them in a glass bowl of acetone. Why? Acetone 
melts plastic. And the nails that you're applying or that you're wearing, they are plastic. So you definitely want to get a glass bowl because again, if you use plastic, it's gonna melt. So get you a glass bowl and put in 100% acetone. I thought that's what I bought, but I actually purchased nail polish remover, but it is gonna work, why? Because the very first ingredient is acetone. So I go ahead and fill my little bowl up and I soak my hands in there. Now, eventually, I soak these for like 15 minutes, a little of it was still applied. So I soaked it a little more until I was able to get them all off and got clean nails. Don't worry about how my nail beds are looking. I ended up getting dip nails. They shaved them down. <laughs> The next thing I would advise you to do is wash your hands. Go ahead and give them a rub a dub dub, swimming in the tub because they've been soaking in acetone. If you did the water with the soap and stuff, you can skip this stuff. But anyway, wash your hands. After you wash your hand, go ahead and size your nails up. Sometimes when you order a pack of nails, you'll just get 10. Other times, you'll get a pack with about 20. It just depends on the retailer. You wanna take the press on nails and find the ones that are the best size for your particular nail bed and sit them to the side. So after you did your size and you got your nails and fried dilated to the side and all organized bars, you want to tend to your real nails by pushing back your cuticle. It gives it a more realistic look when you go ahead and put on the press on. So just take your tool and push back your cuticle ever so slightly. And then if it, listen, this ain't for everybody. If you can do it with control, use a cuticle trimmer and kind of just trim along your cuticle just to make it look real nice and pretty. Now, I'm gonna tell you something. If you don't know how to do this correctly, don't. It's good enough just to push back your cuticle because if you use this cuticle trimmer and you cut yourself, the next step gonna jack you up and I'm gonna explain why in a minute, but just make sure your nail bed and your cuticles are looking real cute, whether it's just to push back the cuticle or to go ahead and trim it. So once you push back your cuticle and if you've chosen to trim, it's time to go for the next step, which is to buff. Take your buffing tool. Most online retailers will give it to you. So just take your little block, a little buffer and gently buff your nail bed. You're not doing it in a like super hard way because you're gonna turn up your nail bed and that is like, Ouch. So just gently buff it just to remove some of the shine because by roughing up your nail bed just a little bit, it helps the glue to adhere a little bit better. So go slow and go gently. Okay, next. You want to go ahead and dehydrate your nail bed of any of your natural oils, any product residue or anything like that because to have oil and residue on your nails will stop the glue from working. So you wanna take an alcohol pad and go ahead and wipe down your nail beds. And this is why I said, if you are trimming your cuticle, only do it if you know what you're doing because to put alcohol on a cut, <laughs> Once you have wiped down your nail bed with your alcohol, it is time to do what for me I have found to be the most important step to get the nail to stay on and that is to etch the inside of it. The same thing that you're doing when you buff your nail, you wanna do it to the inside of the press on because when the press on is too smooth and shiny on the inside, I find that the glue doesn't adhere as well. So I take a little board, like a little filer and just go side to side, side to side just to rough it up a little bit. Now, of course, don't go ham because you're going to tear the nail up. You don't want to do that. You just want to gently do a little bit of a swipe just to kind of rough it up just a little bit. In order to not go overboard with glue, and I'm going to say this, sometimes people think more glue means more of a hole. Well, if you put too much glue, when you press it down, the glue is going to ooze on the side and then it'll end up getting on your finger. Next thing you know, you got a glue fingerprint on your nail and it looks a mess. So don't do that. So what I have found works really well as my method is to put two drops on the inside of my press on. So drop one, drop two. And then I go to my real nail and I put one drop and I smear it all across my nail bed. So in total, each nail gets three drops of glue. Once I have my glue applied to the inside of the press on and to my nail, I gently attach it to my nail and I hold it down for about 30 seconds. It allows any air bubbles that may be on the inside to kind of push its way out and it secures the hole. So after the 30 seconds, I just make sure I gently wipe around the nail, nail bed to remove any excess glue because you don't want to have the excess bumping into something. Next thing you know, you got to lint all glue to your nail. Ew. And I repeat that process on all of my nails. Two drops of glue on the inside of the press on, one drop of glue that I spread across my entire nail bed, hold down this nail once I put it on there, and leave it there for about 30 seconds to make sure it really adheres. And when I do that, it rests really, really well. I don't really have anything as far as lifting. The last set of nails that I had on, 
I didn't get a single lift until day seven and that's because I ended up knocking my nail into a door because I reached for it too hard and it caused it to lift just a little bit on the nail bit. But that would have been an easy fix just to put a drop of glue on the inside, push it back down. But seriously, three drops of glue is all you need and it will hold if you do all the steps that I just did. So once you get all your nails on there and they're looking real, real pretty, it don't do you any good to have pretty nails and jacked up fingers. And so you want to get you a cuticle oil. Shout out to DJ and Nails. She gave me this cuticle oil to really try it out. And I actually really like it. So go around your nail bed on all your fingers and put your cuticle oil on there and rub it on there really, really good. And honey, you're shining, 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 yeah. And once you've oiled up your cuticles, go ahead and put you on some lotion so you're not ashy. Put your jewelry back on that you took off so you wouldn't jack it up. And voila, your nails are done. Simple as that. Like seriously, this holds me down at the maximum of about two weeks. About a week and a half, you're looking a little questionable. Two weeks in, I'm good. But honestly, considering I only paid $20 for these nails and they last me two weeks, I get my money worth. And yeah, that's it. That's how the diva gets down with putting on the press on nails. That is how I apply my press ons, get pretty little nails at home. If you have any questions, leave them down below. Me love you a long time. Mikey, Dada, and I'm out of here. Bye, honey.